Oh, oh, fusion core. That was not what Are I was clowning? expecting. Okay, so the fusion core is either for liberator range or for BC. If he goes BC, oh, I will be so happy. It looks like it's BC. Now, is this going to get look, scouted? He's sca oh, oh, stats. Look, he's faking Banshee right now. So, yeah, he is going BC. That's crazy. I can't believe he didn't. Oh, my God, Tasis. I never thought we'd see a BC today. This is I so... certainly didn't either. BCs are not... So like a BC we... opener you don't generally see in this matchup. Do you send There's the BC right, right away, or do you want to try to make a couple? Oh, you jump them. You jump them? You em. jump it right into the mineral line, man. Okay. Especially against these Phoenixes. You think Phoenixes yeah. are going to kill a BC tasteless? They're not. Uh, oh, oh, stats! Man. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Showtime. Oh, look where he Wait. warped it to. He didn't warp it right on top. He's going to fly it in instead. He's, the Phoenixes are out of position. Here we go. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, his face doesn't change. That's Cosmic yeah. Pro right there. Well, yeah. He's just going to react to it. Yeah, he takes out the shield battery first. Very, very smart move there. Look at this. Marines are coming oh, up, too. Oh, man. He's got a really Holy good spot crap. over this pylon if he decides to take this position. And the BC is just... Murderizing oh my God. everything tasteless. Look at the Protoss units running away as they just get gunned down. Yeah. Oh, man. Just Phoenix. unreal damage. Yeah, you can see that the Marines can retreat pretty well underneath the BC. And look, you can see the Phoenix is just having such a hard time against it. The high armor of the BC not caring about their attacks. Yeah, that it's like... They can just ignore the phoenixes like they're mosquitoes or something. Yeah. You see, he's like micron back. He's trying to keep them alive. All right. Pops out of void. That's really good. Look at this. Oh, he's not going to have his jump ready. Oh, oh, he had it. No, he didn't. Oh. Okay. If that had gotten out, yeah. if that had gotten out, Mr. Tasteless, that would have been the most heartbreaking thing right there. Oh, yeah. But he's going into mech now. So, like, wow. You know, another little funny thing. Uh... T.Y. is the best BC versus... He's just the best BC player in the world. Yeah, yeah. He's the only pro that took it seriously when it was in the metagame for, like, a week because of Nathanius. <laughs> Again, more growth here on the lower part of the map. And Terran's going to milk the gold base. Uh, we don't have Protoss taking a gold base yet. It does seem like on this map it's a little bit easier, especially in TVP, for Terran to secure the gold and keep it. Yeah. You know, I think what stats should do, like I love that he expanded up there. I think he should make a nexus at every location up at the top. <laughs> Just make a million nexuses because that bottom of the map, like he, he's going to get pushed eventually, right? TY is going to mass up, push him, and it's going to be really hard to stop. But TY, like his army couldn't be less mobile on the top, right? All he has is the BCs. Yeah. Because the tanks are, like, behind the minerals and stuff. It's going to take a long time for him to actually attack anything with anything other than BCs. So if he just makes Mass Nexus, I think that's a great play. Okay. Uh, three battle cruisers coming up here. And I love the Amato. Wait, what? <laughs> Gets one. <laughs> okay. Gets one. Pulls back out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, I mean, it's somewhat inconsequential. What's really about to happen here is that Terran's going to have a push, and I don't know that Protoss can hold the bottom left base. Okay, just sets up here. Ooh, nice split. Disruptors, I think that's a pretty cool choice. Okay, Terran is now on the move here. And Protoss is going to have to try to address this army. I love the Disruptor play. Oh, no, but if he loses the Disruptors... Okay, that's also Ooh. a great move, hitting the gold bases. Stats is doing a really good job. Yeah, he's, he's doing a really, happen. really good job. I don't think he's going to be able to... Uh, I don't think he's going to let uh, TY style on him just yet. All right, some decent Disruptor hits. They're not yeah. perfect. It's good splitting from TY. Oh, wow. Yamato's down the... Uh, one, the Colossus that was at full HP. The Stalkers are here for the counterattack. Terran has finally managed to reach this base. Protoss is doing a pretty good job, but I don't know how you're going to stop that Terran army. Now, that being said, the Protoss unit composition is much more fluid and nimble mm -hmm. when compared to the tanks that have to siege up. Yeah, and, uh, his, his counterattack is doing fantastically here, but he is losing his main. 
Yeah. We're going to need to see a lot of gateways made at the top here. By the way, uh, we're going to see DT Tech coming in here. Oh, that's amazing. DT Tech is exactly the type now, of thing you want. This is enough stalkers you can actually fight that, right? No? No. I guess not. I'm not used to seeing stalkers fight BCs, so I, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, no, I'm not. The yeah. BCs do pretty darn well. <laughs> okay. This is just absolute destruction here in the main. So much damage on both sides. Oh! Okay, he does manage to get away. What I does he think do now? Is he going to try to clear what's in his main? If he can deal with this army in the main, I think Stash is going to be okay. But how does he do that? I, I also feel like the natural, or the base just north of the main, if we can call it, is going to be picked off here. Now he's got Hellbats, um, which are certainly much tankier. Yeah. Does Protoss really want to try to run up onto the high ground? I guess we got our oh, answer now. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work out. Yeah. In fact, this is just the... Oh, oh my god. No. Just a completely messing up his control there. Yeah. Some units attacking and others running away. I don't think... This, I mean, this area is valuable. It's not valuable enough to give your whole army and then still lose it. Yeah. I mean, Definitely Karen, a miscalculation there. Pushing down from high ground here, and of the rest of the significant tech is actually just here in the natural. Uh, I don't know if Protoss can start a new here at the top of the map, but that may be Stats' only choice. By the way, he never actually killed that base at the bottom of the map. If you look down there, he kind of oh, walked yeah. He actually <laughs> walked through it. I think there's literally still probes mining there. It's kind of funny. Okay, here comes the counter. I don't know what's in the main. Yeah, just maybe a few units from his reinforcements. He looks like those are actually doing a reasonable job, but he's going to jump back with those BCs and easily clean up the Zealots. Yeah, and gosh, the BCs really are at the center of the strategic play here. It's really incredible to see TY doing this. Yeah, utilizing those BCs to basically clean up every time the counterattack comes it's, is so critical. It should be noted that right now, Terran is barely mining, okay? Terran's on three bases just in the bottom. The problem for Protoss is that the Terran... Oh, <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh. The problem right now is that the Terran has this mech army that just <laughs> Protoss can't quite deal with. This is so much splash damage. He's oh, and do it again, let's see. Here he's, we go. He's softened it a few times. No, oh. there's way too many. You can see the way the tanks are spaced out. The Protoss doesn't get to see how many tanks are actually there until he's already eaten the siege tank shots. But he's eaten them so many times, maybe he should have an idea. I think, I I feel like he should just be counterattacking nonstop and then try to kill the army after <laughs> he's done critical damage, you know? Because Stalkers are not going to kill 15 plus 3 Siege Tanks, or plus 2 Siege Tanks, well, rather. It seems like, uh, for now, the Protoss is going to be resigned to these Tier 1 units. Yeah. Stalkers and Zealots. Well, he's never going to have money for anything else. Yeah, you, you, I don't know if there's even a, been a Robo that's been remade here. But, again, uh, TY's income isn't that great. Stats actually has a lot of bases. He does have a lot of bases. All right, Zealot you're bottom. right, he does. Okay, this was a great move. Yeah, that was that's how you're gonna win. Oh, I love this. Just right on the war prism. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's like you can't get away from that with the war prism. Yeah. Yamato's pretty good. <laughs> are you gonna try to recall that and just hope that that's faster than the Yamato cannon? What yeah. are you gonna do? Um Flame Hellion trying to come up for some harassment. Wouldn't be surprised if we see that a little bit more. The only thing that's keeping stats in this game is that the mech army is slow. It's hard to actually get to where you need to be. That's why half this game has been Terran pushing up through the bottom and trying to make a loop all the way to the top here. Yeah. Uh, the bottom base is no more. Oh, wow, look, he's going to go back. Now, I don't know why he's doing this. I, I actually, I like it because... Why would you want to go all the way to the lower platform with this? I think what you want to do is save all of your units. If you go back, save all your units, reinforce, and then push north, you're gonna you're gonna corner it, right? By the way, Stats now has the uh, upper right. This is so funny. Literally, it's Ty controlling the lower platform, Stats controlling the upper. Yeah. We've never quite had a game like this. Stats should ask for a truce, though. He needs to stop attacking right there, losing units. Uh, nice harassment here at the gold base. The army is vastly superior right now for TY. The only thing that's really going okay for uh, stats here is that it's hard for the army to get there, but now that push has come right through the middle. Oh man, he's really got to bring all his units together if he wants to stop this. Picking off a lot of Blue Flame Hellions is important because he's going to need to use charge lots against the Stalkers can't do it alone, but with the Blue Flame Hellions, it's so hard to get the Zots to do anything except evaporate. 
Yeah, and now he's going to push into that little corner. Out. I don't believe that T.Y. knows about the upper right base. Yeah, but, you're, you're definitely right. But not. It, I, I can't imagine that T.Y. pushes through and smashes the upper left and gateways will be remade again, right? Mm -hmm. I just don't see it happening. No. My God, he didn't even kill a battle cruiser. That's pretty wild. I think we are at the beginning of the end here, man. Well, let's see if he holds this. I mean, T.Y. has more units coming, so it doesn't seem too likely. The next wave of tanks can leapfrog forward, get in range of the Nexus. Some handful of stalkers continuing to harass. Stats gonna give that base up. Oh, oh man! Well, this is oh. it. More That's tanks gonna be all than there are stalkers. GG, TY, it's going to the GSL.